uh, waziri Matiangi wakizungumza na ni kuhusiana na maporomoko ya ardhi ambayo yametokea katika eneo la Pokot Magharibi ambapo watu watano wamefariki na arifio kwa sasa kwamba kedi yako Tobiko anazungumza hebu tusikize about the long range there's a season from March all the way to May June and their prediction so before I uh, make my own word uh, give my own word uh, I would request the director of the Kenya Met to give highlight of the general situation in the country uh, in the next uh, couple of um, weeks in the next couple of um, months up to the end of the seasonal array director Stella uh, Stella please Uh, thank you, Bona CS. As you are aware, this is the long range season. And uh, the long range season uh, starts from March to May uh, for most areas, uh, except for the uh, western and uh, coastal regions where it, the rain goes into June. Now, during this season, we have periods of uh, heavy rainfall. And that's why we occasionally issue uh, heavy rains advisories, uh, which are supposed to be used together with the forecast for planning purposes. And uh, we continue to do this. We issue daily forecasts. We issue five-day forecasts, seven-day forecasts, 30-day uh, forecasts, then the seasonal forecast. And uh, these forecasts are issued to all sectors of the economy where they are used for planning purposes. I know most people associate the rains with the farming, but there are those who use it for hydropower generation and uh, for other purposes. And even the pastoralist communities use the forecast. So I just wish to advise that uh, when you see our advisory, please put it to, to good use so that we save life, lives and property. Thank you. Thank you very much, Esther. Okay. Now, Kenya Met is a premier um, institution that does the weather prediction and forecasting, not just for Kenya, for the region and the entire glo uh, globe. Now, these have the best brains and the best scientists and the best equipment. It is important, therefore, to pay keen interest and heed their warnings, their alerts, and their adversaries. Now, I urge the public, so far and during this period, they have issued two adversaries, one in January, and the last one, uh, the, last, the second one was last week on Thursday, and actually which uh, accurately predicted the situation and warned about the situation as uh, has happened in West Pokot and uh, Elgeo Marakwet. And today, they will be issuing another um, warning about heavy downpour, which will be accompanied likely by flash floods and, and other incidences. So urge the public, their warnings are disseminated to the ground, to the grassroots, to the county government, to the uh, county commissioners, to the chiefs, and so on and so forth. And also disseminated through all um, broadcasts, including FM uh, radio uh, uh, station. So we urge the public to be very serious about these warnings and save lives and save uh, uh, property. Now, of course, this must be seen in the context of climate change. Weather has become extremely unpredictable. Rains do delay, and when they come, they come in, in torrents. So we are also, as we uh, sit here and in cabinet, discussing the strategy on how to deal with uh, climate, uh, climate change uh, as affects uh, our, our country. Now, secondly, let's take advantage of the ongoing rains. Their own prediction is that the rains uh, these rains are likely to be above normal, above average, which will be about between 30 and 50 millimeters. That's huge, um, huge indeed. And as, 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 as um, my, my, my Stella says, let's take advantage of this situation. And also my colleague, um, Fred Matian. Let's take advantage of this situation to plant trees. And of course, observing the physical and social distancing, taking precautions in the context of uh, COVID-19. In our homes, in our gardens, uh, in forest, let's do tree planting and make use of uh, of, of this of, of, of this occasion, as well as take 
precautions and heed the warnings that are issued by the expert. I thank you. Thank you. Uh, Eugene first, then Charles. Uh, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We want to offer our condolences to the families that lost their dear ones in this disaster yesterday in El Geo Maraquet and in West Pokot, and to also thank the counties of El Geo Maraquet and West Pokot for working closely with our regional commissioner on the ground, and we also have our PSS who have gone down. Uh, PS Powon in charge of assholes is on the ground. CS. Uh, uh, JB, Kilimo. JB Kilimo, who is from El Geo Maraquit, is also on the ground to coordinate together to offer support to all the affected. On behalf of national government, we have already responded and sent support in terms of uh, food and non-food items to support all the affected families. And we want to assure them and to assure the counties that the national government will continue giving them this support not just in El Geo Marquette and West Pokot, but in all the counties affected by these floods. We are talking of uh, Kisumu County. We are talking of Busia at the coast Tana River. We will continue giving them the necessary support in terms of relief food and non-food items. But we are also urging the counties that with climate change, we will continue having these disasters. They must set aside enough resources in their emergency funds, where the law allows them to do that, and to able to realign their budgets to address this disaster. We're not just talking about floods, we have COVID and all the other disasters, the landslides that are coming, we require resources. Counties are our first line of defense, and they must take that frontline uh, position, and as national government will come in to give them backup and to give them the necessary support now and in future. We want to thank them and assure them of our continued support. Asantini. Well, uh, thank you so much. Uh, maybe before I mention why uh, I have to talk about the Eastern uh, Hydros, I think it's a responsibility for all of us as Kenya that we pray and we observe what the government is saying so that we get rid of all this disease which is becoming a problem. Even talking now is really a real problem for me because you are used to being free. Having said that, uh, the Eastern Hydros, uh, Masinga, uh, Kamburu, Kitaru, uh, Kidaruma, all the way to Kiambere, as we talk right now over the weekend, I want to say all our dams are full to the maximum. We are doing the, the spillage on ready from Masinga and the, 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 all the way cascading it down to uh, Kiambere. And I want to say there have been a notion that Kenjian is the one who opened water to flood the lower part of uh, Karisa all the way to Tana River. Without the dams, they will be flooding because the dam is holding to a maximum capacity uh, as it is right now. There is an overflow of uh, over 300 uh, cubic uh, meters per second in all the dams. So with a, with a projection which our technical team are telling us, in the next two days, those people who are living on the lower part of Karisa, there will be a lot of water uh, because uh, uh, it's not only from Kambere. There is also heavy rain from Kitui, heavy rain from Meru, which join uh, Tana River ahead of um, uh, after uh, Kambere. So the people who are living on those sites, uh, lower Karisa, lower Tana River, it's high time in the next two days, we must move to the safest upper regions as soon as possible because the flooding is already starting. Thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, finally, we are accompanied, in addition to my brothers in the cabinet, we are accompanied by Mr. Mofat Kangi, our Secretary for Internal Security, Mr. Sunkuli, our PS for Devolution, Dr. Chris Kipto, our Principal Secretary for Environment, and uh, Dr. Karanja Kibicho, our Principal Secretary for Interior and coordination of national government. Uh, the reason we are here, as my brothers have said, we, we are putting our heads together and organizing ourselves to deal with clearly an impending challenge. Uh, you saw what happened yesterday in West Pokot and El Geo Maraquet. We can tell clearly from this rain that we are going to have challenges of flooding in some parts of the country. 
This morning, our principal secretary for uh, interior, Dr. Kibijo, has put out a cable to all county commissioners and regional commissioners in the country to work with Ngao infrastructure across the country to ensure that we move all the populations in mudslide prone areas to safe places. I am talking about Muranga, Taita Taveta, Elgeo Maraquet, uh, West Pokot, and we are looking at the counties of Garissa, Tana River, and parts of Kitui, where we are likely to have certain challenges. In the lower part near the Lake Victoria, Nyando and the counties of Kisumu, we are likely to have issues, as it were. We have been warned uh, by our colleagues here, you've heard the director of this institution, and what my brothers have said. I want to appeal to our fellow Kenyans, wherever they are, please let us listen to what we are being told. Let us listen to our leaders. You know, in cases uh, such as uh, we have, when we can see an impending danger, it is our responsibility as government to advise our people appropriately. And we have done this, working with the various structures of our administration in, and uh, working with the county governments across the board. And let us all take responsibility. This is about our lives. This is not about government. It's about our lives collectively. Let's take responsibility. We're asking our civic leaders across the board to work with us, move our populations, uh, you know, to safer places, to higher ground, so that uh, the, the, we can keep our people safe. Those who move to areas, uh, you know, to schools, who huddle in various areas, jointly, an interdepartmental framework, bringing together our colleagues in the Ministry of uh, devolution and special programs and ourselves in the Ministry of Interior, we are working jointly to see how we can support them and how we can uh, uh, support our populations, but working in collaboration with county governments. The message we have for our people is this, please heed the warning, listen to what the leaders are saying, move to higher and safer grounds. That is our message. Where challenges have happened, like uh, the case of uh, El Geo Maracuet and West Pokot, I join my brothers and on behalf of government and our colleagues in sending uh, a message of condolences to our fellow Kenyans uh, from whose families we lost critical role players in our society and uh, I am particularly personally very sad that we lost two police officers uh, in the process who were out there uh, on duty. It is very sad. It's, it's, an, it's a very tragic occurrence that uh, we probably would have avoided if we took it but look, let's not spend time on that. We are here where we are. The government will do whatever it takes to provide uh, support to those families that are there. Already yesterday, His Excellency the President authorized an interdepartmental mobilization jointly with KDF, the Ministry of Interior, and all structures around. We are moving to support those families that are there, working with the two governors, Governor Tolgos of Elgeo Maraquet and Governor Lojangapuo of uh, uh, West Pokot. So we will stay on that to try and see how we can alleviate the challenges and the problems of our brothers and sisters who have been affected by this. But my dear friends, let's not get there. We have been warned. Let's not get there. Our Minister for Energy has told us about what's going to happen. Uh, when the dams uh, 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 start now spilling water, the populations in the lower Tana, especially in Tana River and, uh, and Garissa, have to be very careful. And then, then we will continue to engage through our brother, the Minister for Devolution, right today with the governors of Garissa and the governor of Tana River to ensure that plans are in place to, to ensure that those people are safe. We must do whatever it takes to ensure that those people are safe and we don't lose lives again the way we have had in the past. Lastly, we want to thank you, our colleagues from the media, for your consistent support. Because without you communicating with us as we do and passing this information to our fellow uh, citizens, there is no way we would reach out to these populations. Now, I want to invite you sincerely. Join us in amplifying this message. Join us in insisting that uh, people heed the warnings they are given. And at all times, a time has come in our country, we need to have a serious conversation on our sense of responsibility as individuals and as groups. These problems are not about the government. They are about ourselves, our lives. And we stop these games that we are playing around here, even on COVID-19, thinking that, you know, we can go hang around and uh, violate the guidelines we have been given by our colleagues at the Ministry of Health uh, without consequences. There are consequences to every one uh, of our actions. Thank you very much and God bless you.